those oldies. Appreciate them, badge on its way. Steve, can you keep the loud ones coming, mucking out pig buildings here, a job I hate, and I'm knackered. Only great music and your witty banter keeping me going. Tar, Andy the Farmer in North Allerton. And Steve, good show so far, just wanted to wish Mick Watson a PB Leisure Wear a happy uh, birthday, 78 and still working. has declared a state of emergency in two southern counties as tough new laws to stop migrants entering illegally came into force today. A police said they had arrested 60 people accused of trying to breach a razor wire fence on the border with Serbia. Establishing a new body to monitor parliamentary activity in Northern Ireland could help mend the stalled peace process. Theresa Villiers has said today, the Northern Ireland Secretary told the House of Commons that the situation in Northern Ireland was still very grave. And Jeremy Corbyn has vowed to fight the government's proposed welfare cuts and other austerity measures labelling the Conservatives uh, poverty deniers. <laughs> Here's Bobby Price. Steve, thank you. First of all, Perth and Kinross, the M90 southbound. There was a broken down lorry stuck at 8, down to 7 at the Hilton. That's now been cleared out of the way. Uh, the M6 southbound on the entry slip road at Junction 21. So coming on from the A57, there was a broken down lorry. That's now been cleared. Uh, towards Leeds, the M621 westbound was partially blocked with an accident at Junction 4. That's now cleared. To Middlesbrough, the A66 eastbound, broken down vehicle at the Cargo Fleet Interchange. They've closed it at the A171 while they're recovering this breakdown hopefully it should reopen fairly soon uh, the a47 now this is closed both ways closed between wendling at love lane and the east dearham turn at the a1075 and this is following an accident so it's shut both directions a14 that lorry that was having problems between bar hill at junction 29 and uh Lower, junction 28a that's now cleared and the congestion has gone it's not from cambridge services anymore the m1 northbound was an accident between 10 and 11 up towards the dunstable road that's cleared out of the way the Greater London, the A4, West London at Brentford, eastbound, there's a vehicle on fire at Gillette Corner, uh, sign of the A310, that's cleared out of the way, so hopefully the congestion should start to clear fairly soon. The A34 at South Hinskey, now this is still have an accident, or has an accident, southbound, there's a second one now at the A423, so the earlier one, they're recovering at the Hinksey Hill Interchange, but there's now been another one in the queues. Uh, the M4 westbound, 16 to 17, towards Chippenham, now they held all the traffic for a short time, couldn't find the reason why, traffic it's on the move once again, but you've got residual delays. The A4 in Chippenham closed completely between the A350, the Chequers roundabout, and the Cross Key Road, and that's closed in both directions. The A38 Whitminster is all open now between the A419 and the Cross Keys roundabout at Harwick, so that route is a clear run for you now. But the M5, first of all, northbound, 13 to 12, Stroud to the Hardwick turn-off. There's a broken down vehicle, so one lane is shut, and then the M5 at Bristol southbound, 19 to 20, down towards Clevedon from Porter's Head. Again, it's a breakdown. One lane is shut, but traffic's coping reasonably well. Finally, the M4 to Swansea eastbound. Following that earlier accident, you've got some heavy residual delays between 47 at Swansea West Services to 44. But I say, it's the front of the queue that's gone. It's just residual delays at the back. And thanks for your updates. I'll be back with more in 25 minutes. Good word as well. Uh, the rain will become progressively heavier in Scotland, but generally drier and brighter elsewhere. It's a high of 19. Not too bad for the time of year, really. That's at Heathrow. Tonight, I saw isolated showers over central England, Wales and western Scotland uh, with wet and windy weather spreading into the south toward dawn. Dark, well depending on where you are we reckon